Amos Ishaku, displaced by insecurity of Boko Haram in Borno State, Nigeria, has backed scholarship to study for PhD in chemical engineering in USA. He was displaced in the year 2014 and found his way to the internally displaced persons camp in Ohoga in Ovia, Northeast local government area of Edo State. He will now study at the University of Illinois, Chicago, in the U.S. The state coordinator of the International Christian Center and Home for the Needy, Pastor Solomon Fulorunsho, made this known to our cyber correspondent, Akpomajere Friday, in an interview at the camp in Edo State. I derive satisfaction from doing this. And if you read your Bible, pure religion and undefined, the Bible says, is to cater for the needy, orphans, widows. So for me to say I'm a child of God and I see people like this and neglect them, that shows I'm a hypocrite. But I'm not. So if I, the love of God in my heart is what pulls me. Jesus inspired me to go help those who are less endowed. Raise them up. Yes, you see when you raise them up, you have less beggars, less criminals. <laughs> Everything less, less, less still is completely wiped out. So I want everyone to have that knowledge. If you take care of one person, that person can take care of a community. Look at what is already happening. The less privileged ones, hope. I bring hope to them. Yes, I want them to know that. You know, a lot of them are taken into criminality. Some have started committing suicide. Some have given up. No. If this young man had given up, he would have not seen me. He would have thrown everything away. Or didn't find a way to escape. He would have not seen me. There is someone out there God has planted to raise you. Yes. Perseverance. Keep hope alive. One day, you will encounter that person. And then that will change your story. So nobody should quit at all. Amos Ishak with the IDP student in Edo State who got the scholarship to study PhD in USA graduated with first class honors from one of the universities in Edo State. He noted that it was very difficult for him to study at the beginning because of what happened to him and his family in Borno State appreciating God for his mercies. When I came here and it was the first time I could sleep for years. I couldn't sleep for years because we we were staying in the mountain for months and uh, staying on that cave, rain will come, scorpions, a lot of things, a lot of unimaginable things that you can think of. And having undergo all kind of traumas, seeing people being killed, seeing people being raped, your properties and your houses being destroyed right in front of you, you can't say anything, you can't do anything. It was a very horrifying and terrible situation for me. So, when, so because of all this trauma, I, when I got to SS3, I was writing SSCE, not making it because of what I went through until at the seventh attempt. That was when I was not able to, able to make my SSC and I got to admission to study chemical engineering at Edo State University. The thing I could think, what I could do was to make them happy and the only way I see that I can make them happy was to be able to give them a good result. But at the end of it, even though we have to write several letters to school so that they can allow us to pay our exams because sometimes they have to send us away from exam hall because of lack of payment of school fees. But we have to write several letters for them to approve so that we can write our exam. That's how we continue. That's how I, we spent five years in school and I was able to graduate. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.